controversial, I know. But if you work a full-time job, you should be able to live in a one-bedroom apartment by yourself and not starve yourself to be able to pay rent. With that being said, poverty is a public health issue. This video is dedicated to the folks that's so broke you can't even pay attention. This video is dedicated to the people that was eating sleep for dinner that grew up on food stamps and hood. This video is for the people that grew up poor and getting it out the mud. And what did you know? That rhyme. With that being said, I guess it's poetry time. Shout out to Lenin. She said, boss made a dollar. Granddad made a dime. But that was a poem for a simpler time. Boss made a thousand, gave pa a cent. But that penny bought a mortgage or at least it paid rent. Now, boss makes a million and gives us jack. Smugly blames his workers for the labor he lacks. Bars. When we start talking about inflation and how much price is going up on gas and bread and eggs and bananas, how you think it's going to impact people that's living paycheck to paycheck? Think about it. You know that rising costs are going to have a larger impact on lower income families than it is the general public, right? I read this stat that said right now a higher share of working age Americans are in the workplace than any time in the past 20 years. But they're just lazy. They don't want to work. Think about that. This is the highest share of working age Americans in the workforce in the past 20 years. The thing that really annoys me is that there's a lot of people that advocate, say, no, we should not raise the minimum wage because that's going to cause inflation. Whole time inflation is happening and all you're doing is advocating for minimum wage to be held hostage at $7 and whatever it is now. $7.50, $7.25, not enough. Access opportunity and resources are three things that's always already impacting poor people and why we stay poor typically. Think about it. Many poor people get characterized as being lazy at a very young age, but are typically at the at the earliest of ages going to the job market. And in the entire time while you're in the job market, they call lazy and they literally leave the job market at the longest of the age. I'm talking about be old as hell. When we live in a society that always wants to tie our value of our humanity to our productivity or to what we have in terms of assets, it always justifies relegating poor people as being exposable, disposable, thus justifying us for exploitation. That ain't good, boss. This is something that really grinded my gears and I'm going to let y'all go, you see. A couple of days ago, I shared this on my Facebook page. Last week, Jeff Bezos lost $5 billion in a single day as Amazon stock slumped, but he's still the second richest man in America. Folks, say it with me. Tax the rich. And this is what behooved me. There was an individual that hopped in the comment section yapping. Bruh said, the rich pay 45% of all taxes in this country. Most Americans don't even pay taxes. Where do you think these tax refunds come from every year? <laughs> the rich don't tax going the rich don't get tax refunds in fact the rich even give away money give money away i'm so left can't even say it right you feel me he say the rich creates jobs taxing the rich means less services for everyone less jobs for everyone and being rich in paper doesn't mean they can't afford just to give it all away um I'm convinced that uh, rich people are in cahoots and making it where a lot of us, you feel me, stay uneducated and we say things like this. The reason why poor people get tax refunds is because they pay so much taxes throughout the year. You see what I'm saying? Jeff Bezos didn't pay no taxes at all a couple years ago. I'm talking about pay zero, which means that if you got a tax refund, that means you pay more tax than Jeff Bezos. You know what I'm saying? I say all that to say this. Not only is education is elevation, ultimately, when prices start to rise on different products and services, people that live in poverty are going to be impacted the most. This is going to impact how people feed themselves, how they pay their bills and how they take care of their loved ones. Think about that next time you engage in talking about some money. Research over me, search.